Yo, I'm kind of hot because we recorded like a whole fucking video and I didn't press record. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> welcome back. Uncensored Logs, Black Convo. G Baby. Bastard. And that, the other day, rest in peace, Mr. Daniel Purdue. He has died from the hands of police custody. Again, another black man. And unarmed. Doing restraint. Unarmed. Again, and this is a crazy After issue. already being cuffed. Yeah. Now, this this happened on March 30th, which is probably six months ago. So this is an old video, but it's just resurfaced. It ju it's just getting attention. It just, it just goes to tell you that how many shit is happening, that we don't, and we don't even know. know. But the family requested to see the body cam video because they were wearing body cams, and they requested to see the written reports, and they, when, they when they requested to re see it, this is what they seen. They saw what the police did. Obviously, we want to show the video of it right, right here. here. With that being said, I was shocked. Now, I'm going to give you some context to when this video was taken. This happened in March 30th, when it was the height of the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. Purdue came out naked, and obviously, his brother called the police and said, yo, you know, man, did you help my brother? When it came to arrive on the scene, he was naked, and he complied with everything that they were telling him to do. Get on the ground, put your hands behind your back. Everything they asked him to do, he complied. All of a sudden, I guess allegedly he was spitting, and they put a hood over his head. It was a called spit. a spit hood, mm -hmm. which I never heard of it before. I never seen it before. But obviously, during that time of coronavirus, you have to really be aware of you know what I mean certain things. So they didn't want to get spit on. They put a hood on him. Not only did they put a hood on him, he became agitated when they put the hood on him, and they held him down on the floor for two minutes, where he subsequently passed out. He didn't die that day, but. He went to the hospital, was on life support, and eventually succumbed Seven to his injuries. Days, I think. With that being said, because he was injured, because they was also banging his head on the floor. Yes, yes. and they had his While knee his on head, his back yeah. again. While his head was in the spit bag or whatever the fuck you want to call it, right. they was mashing his head on the floor. Right. Now, I don't understand why we can't treat it like this. And the brother just said, like, yo, society, I have to understand that, yo, we can't keep treated like this. And I'm so glad for body cams. I'm so glad for the fucking new technologies out here. Yeah, but really then they cut it off, my nigga. Some, some of them do but, cut it off. They do. This isn't the first circumstance where we see cops mishandling mental illness yes. patients. Because yes. we had the one not that long ago where the guy oh, came out and he had year. a toy last in year. his hand. Last year? Truck, the toy truck. And yeah, they shot the guy, the instructor, him. yeah. And they just... Not like they didn't have any awareness because the brother called and said he is having mental issues. Yeah. It wasn't he's a danger to himself. It Good wasn't point. he's trying to hurt Good us. Point. It was my brother needs help. And instead of y'all sending an ambulance for him or medical aid, y'all sent police. police who subsequently killed him. Mm -hmm. There's a problem in that itself. The problem that is us that keep fucking dying. That's a problem. Now, nah, bro, I'm not going to say, oh, it'd be right if white people were dying too, because then the police is just a problem, period. But, bro, why does it, why did it cannibalize us and animalize us and make us seem like we're fucking evil and, and rational and that we want to kill everybody? You feel what I'm trying to say? Like, that's how I feel that they feel about us. That's why they're killing us, bro. You put a hood over this man's head and you say, say, yo, bro, just chill. Take your time. Yo, we're going to take care of you. But why do we even need to you. get, why do you even need to get put in handcuffs? He's well, they claimed that because he was complying. If, if I heard they claimed that like if you're going to be put in the back of a cop car, then you automatically have to be handcuffed for the safety of the cop. And you're naked too. That's why I'm mean, just you know, just just in case. But I'm saying like it just gets to a point where obviously the Breonna Taylor situation happened. We still haven't seen no body cam footage of that, and it takes so long for these families to get justice. And that's not a that's not a fair part. This should but happen. They want to know something. It's ASAP. This shit happened in March, but then you have to go through all this red tape, all this fucking paperwork just to find out what really happened to their brother, and, and we're that's not fair. We're only finding out about this, and it's only getting as much attention as it's getting is because once they got in that footage, they went ahead and released it, yep. and then it started to finally circulate. So like you said, how many other stories do you think are out there from the beginning of when COVID started to now where we still don't know that's going to be popping up in the near weeks, and how many times... Of this happening, do the cops get to keep on saying they not it was fired. justified? They're not or even fired. It was uh, we were in fear of our life. How many times does that keep on happening when it's blatant in your face 
in video that they're the problem. And then they get mad. it takes for y'all to really go no, on board. No, no, they get mad when we start tearing shit up, when we start burning shit on fire. Then you're like, <coughs> oh, they're wrong for that. I'm not, bro, please just excuse me when I talk about people who hard-earned businesses who build up. I got you, bro. I understand, but... I feel that's a casualty of war. I mean, those are people's hard-earned lives that they're trying that's to live. That's what I'm saying. That's getting taken I'm saying it's a casualty of life. So, and then, bro, we all make mistakes. We all fuck up, bro. This man was in distress, bro. This man said, I needed help. He complied. He did everything he had. And instead of helping him, you crucified him like a fucking criminal. To the point he's dead. That's disgusting. You feel me? Yo, listen, it gets to a point where I see a lot of videos and... They treat white people way better than treat black people. Though. Bro, I, I done seen a naked white man already. Two that was getting that was getting um arrested right, and the fucking police ended up running from him. You showed me that shit. More of those stories, dog. I just look at a situation where I don't want to be animalized anymore. These dreads don't make me fucking scary, dog. My skin don't make me scary. You feel what I'm trying to say? I'm just a regular human being trying to take care of my family, bro. Like I get these scared. Remember I told you downstairs, my neighbor. Mm-hmm. We're walking downstairs, bro. I'm coming home from work. A long hard day at work. I'm tired. I'm walking. This man is staring me down like this, bro. It's following my every move and shit, bro, to the point where I got next to his door. Hold up and close it. And I said, yo, bro, let me tell you shit, something. Not bad shit. I said, bro, I'm not trying to steal anything from you, sir. I work hard just like shit, you are. Not bad, Period. Bro. Yo, you just get to a point where I just want to be in a world where we're all treated equally. Not you know what uh, I hate, too? You ever be crossing the street, my nigga, and they hurry up and lock the door, bro? All the time. I hate that all shit. Time. Oh, in the gas station, you all come time. out your car. Are we going to... We going to the same hey, fucking but, but, spot. Well, hold on, hold on. In, in all honesty, I, I kind of do that too sometimes. You know what I mean? Let's say I'm at, at somewhere where I'm not real comfortable and I see some shady ass niggas. You know what I mean? I'm out my car door. So I'm not talking about aspects like that. That's my nigga. nigga. You, you, you're fair. Yeah. That's cool, bro. I'm not talking about... Nigga, what, bro? One time, bro, I'll never forget it, bro. I'm in Deerfield Beach, nigga. And I pull up that Charger, dog. And I see these two... Bro, you know, obviously. You know, you know. You, know. you see these two niggas pull up, bro. You're like, who car that is? Why you asking who car it is, nigga? I'll rip nigga so. You know what I mean? Then all of a sudden they start eyeing me. They start looking, nigga. Who in the car with you? Why? And you answered them, huh? No! I don't say shit, nigga. And that's why I'm like, as a matter of fact, yo, I don't want that shit anymore. I'm finna go back in the car. <laughs> <place. laughs> that was some real shit. So with that being said, though, I'm not saying some racist <laughs> shit. Sometimes you just infer your life, but when it comes oh, to these police, shit. dog, when it comes to us, when it comes to our lives, when it comes to our livelihood, when it comes to when it comes to kids, black kids, you fucking throw them in there, throw them around and wrestle them like your fucking toys and shit, bro. Like they do it treat to girls us. and all exactly. They don't give a fuck if your skin is black. You're fucked, and I'm tired of that shit, bro. So at the end of the day, bro, we need more black police officers. This video needs to be Hold up. Started. What? Excuse me? That's the moral story. That's the moral story. Right. No, it ain't. Because some of them is the ones that's doing it too. Yeah, because you're... Why? Because you're trying to follow the white people. Yeah. They're like the, they're like the minority of the police. That's my point. The fuck? They doing the shit too. They doing it to shine for the fucking... Um, for, and then for, you for, have for the cops corner. that do try to stand up against it and end up... And they then get they fired. get fired. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Lose their pension shit. and all so that shit. So if you had more black police officers that were standing up against it, then it'd be kind of hard to continue to fire them because then the police Thank department you, itself would become what's being looked at because why is it that only the black police officers that are trying to do the right thing are the ones getting fired while the ones that we are actually protesting against that are causing all the issues are the ones that keep on just being investigated. Yeah. Internal affairs. And this video needs to get a whole lot more of attention than it's getting. This case needs to get a lot more of attention than it's getting because it should not have taken since March, March bro. for this to happen. And, and the police don't want to release it because they know they're going to get the pressure. They know what's going on. Those are things that need Come to on, get man. changed. And you know what's crazy? That's like three months before the George Floyd situation happened. Mm-hmm. If you know what I'm trying to say, like, bro, like, it keeps happening and these white people will talk about, Tell oh. Tell me that's not since I thought that yeah, these white people keep talking about, oh, they should listen. They're both wrong. But, bro, these are the police, nigga. That's what we be killing niggas. It's supposed to be apprehending them and putting them in prison. But is it serve and protect? Yeah, bro. Come it's on, right man. right there on their fucking car. I bought a call to excellence. What excellence is we putting a hood over a nigga, putting his knee in his back? What call to excellence is that, bro? Beating his head bro, on the floor. Bro, don't get me wrong, bro. I know some criminal can be like belligerent and fucking wild. I get it, bro. I hear you all but day. But it's on camera day. that this man was not even no, right No, so what, then you treat him like that, bro. With people who is being compliant, being innocent, bro. You treat him with respect, dog. I don't know, man. I'm, I've never been a cop. I, like I, I say, I, if, if you the solution I'm going to give, 
I'm gonna be real with you, my nigga. If you gonna police in my neighborhood, I think you should come from yes. that neighborhood. Yes. If you're not from that neighborhood, yes. you can't police yes. in this neighborhood. Facts. Facts. Because if you know everybody that's in the neighborhood and that's around, you know who the criminals mm -hmm. are. You know who mm -hmm. the good people mm -hmm. are. You're mm -hmm. not gonna be singling mm -hmm. out everybody. Yes. You feel what I'm saying? Because when when a motherfucker, okay, where we at right now? What's what's this area? Pembroke Pines. Mm -hmm. A motherfucker that from Miramar who live in Miramar gonna come co po police over here. He don't know everybody in this fucking area because mm -hmm. he ain't grow up around yeah. here. So everybody to him who look like me and you, suspect. suspect. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. If you don't come from the area, you shouldn't be policing that yeah, shit. Man. Well, y'all let us know what y'all think about this interesting topic, man. Does police How get off? make changes? Yeah, man. Does police get off with too much murder, with too much crime? Yeah, you know I mean, should we defund the police, as people said? But something has to be done. Like share subscribe hit that notification button down below to get notified every time we release new content and go ahead and check out the description box below to get the links to our social media account so you can also go ahead and see all of the merch that we're releasing we customize all types of items merch uh that only you would have and can't get anywhere else it's called customize you can make whatever you want you can make a garfield with a black panther Rest in peace. You feel what I'm trying to say? Like a little cross. I mean, that was kind of random. Yeah. But you get the point. Yeah. Show your support. Go ahead and follow us. We try to follow everybody back. Um, until next time, we're out.